what uh, popped up on Dabu Seven. Dabu Seven. We have hundreds of students that have gathered with the support of a governor in Mexico on the banks of the Rio Grande, where Pope Francis gave a speech about a year ago. They're forming this massive human wall, linked together, stating that they are rising up against Trump's anti-Mexico rhetoric. Now this could be spun a whole bunch of different ways. People got different opinions and thoughts down here. But what I see already is some of the opinions are being based on lies that were peddled by the mainstream media, which they've been doing a good job of as of late, dishing a whole lot of crap out there, especially with the false information that was connected to the Muslim ban. They got people fired up across the globe. And when the retraction was put out, the correction on the information, of course, not even a fraction of those people saw that because it wasn't breaking news and it wasn't plastered out there like they do with the breaking stuff. And that's the reality of it. And people run around with this false information basing their decisions on it and it gets them emotionally worked up. And then when you have a whole movement that's going against someone, you have someone or, or people like Mexico feels like they're being targeted by Trump, especially with the talk of the wall. And then you have the whole immigration thing that's happening right now. It's, it's something that these people uh, are unifying around down here. Okay, regardless, this is what's happening. So to me, bottom line is this. We had eight years of an administration that was allowing illegal people to come into this country. For crying out loud, they took down all of our surveillance. They told ICE and Border Patrol sit on the bench as they watched people going back and forth across the border. Then they were told catch and release. Can you believe that? Illegals, catching them and releasing them in this country. So we have a whole bunch that was let in pretty much by the Obama administration. Now you've got an administration that's saying no, if you're here illegally, you get now. Because the Obama and the Democrats and all them in Clinton, they were using them for their votes during the election. And we know this because in California, they were allowing illegals to obtain a driver's license. And as long as they could obtain a driver's license, they were able to go vote. Yeah. Let me pause it right there. <clears throat> now what you've got going on is you've got <clears throat> illegals that have voted and they voted with false social security numbers. They've made up social security numbers and now they're being arrested. And they're getting back these little crybaby Mexicans are getting back and going, well, I didn't think it was illegal uh, to have a false social security number. Well, it's federal law. And now they're going in and making these sweeps, ISIS, and rounding these people up on voting records. Thank God. <clears throat> and this was started by Hillary Clinton herself and Odumbo. And George Soros, George Soros is behind this also. They want these illegal wetbacks in here because they can manipulate and tell them who to vote for and what to vote for because they're getting free shit. And, and you know, pardon my French, but they're coming up here and getting welfare that working class people are paying for. It's not going to American citizens that need it, that have children. It's going to these wetbacks that's come up here and drag their little children up here and then they come up here and have kids and want to say anchor babies. Well, that was Hillary Clinton's little keyword. There's no such thing as an anchor baby. That's bullshit. Just because you have a kid up here doesn't make it an American citizen. If you're an illegal, the child is illegal. So when they deport, they deport you all. And you know, that's what you got coming. If you want to come up here and assimilate into the United States, that's great. Go through the process, be vetted, and, and pass the citizenship test and become a citizen. We'd love to have you. But you want to come up here and sneak up here and stay 10, 15, 20 years, not pay goddamn taxes, you know, and funnel that money back down to Mexico to your damn little wet back families and not pay shit under a false social security number. You know, that shit's going to stop. It's just done. And they're rounding up now. They rounded up uh, 460 yesterday. Uh, that was Friday. Thursday, they rounded up 780. They're sweeping state to state now. Thank God. They're finally getting rid of some of these illegals. Get them out of here. 
you know, you don't want to assimilate. And then they come up here and all they want to speak is Spanish. And they expect us to assimilate to their language. No. If I go to India, Iraq, or wherever, if I don't speak their language, guess what? I'm shit out of luck. I'm shit out of luck. They're, I can't force them to speak English. And these bastards shouldn't expect us to speak goddamn Spanish. You know, you want to come up here, you learn our goddamn language. If you don't like that, you can kiss our redneck asses. We're, we're fed up with you goddamn Mexicans coming up here and wanting everything for free. Old Dumbo, give it to you. Bush, give it to you. Bill Clinton, give it to you. Them days are over. Best thing you can do is get on a goddamn bus and get your ass back to Guadalajara or wherever the hell you come from. Because we're fucking fed up with you goddamn Mexicans, and you need to get the fuck out. If you're not going to assimilate to the United States and our way of life and salute our flag and preserve the sanctity of the United States, if you're not going to support us, then get the hell out. Get the hell out. We don't want you here. And there's going to be a day. It's coming. And the, the day's coming where the ICE agents are going to come in and start sweeping. And when these bastards decide to fight, guess what? They're going to be gunned down in the goddamn street. And that's exactly what they need. They need to be gunned down and to be done with. If they don't want to assimilate to our way of life, they need to be gone. You know, we're sick of illegals. We're sick of paying all this money for schooling, for education, for welfare, for their housing. They're getting everything for free. You know, that shit's over. It's over. Thank God we got Trump in there now. You know, maybe we'll get this mess straightened up. And it ain't going to take three months, six months. It'll take years to get this mess cleaned up that was created. And George Soros right now is being attacked by several countries. I can't remember exactly, but two countries right now has confiscated his entire wealth that he's kept hidden in their countries. Uh, I'm trying to think, was it Greece? Uh, there was a couple of different countries that have, have actually shut him down and confiscated his money. Right now, he's being investigated by uh, Congress. They're looking to launch charges against him. Finally, you know, he went in with Hitler and had his own people. He rounded his own people up and confiscated their wealth, their paintings, their gold, whatever they had, any kind of things they had. He helped round them up and stole their, what they had. George Soros stole his own people's belongings to make his fortune. And why the Jews aren't up in arms about this and why nothing has come out on the media, well, I can understand why. You know, the lamestream media, I, you know, they're controlled. George Soros controls them. Hitler did control them, but she's starting to lose her grip. And right now, she is possibly looking at criminal charges. Congress and uh, the, uh, the uh, Senate are looking at charges from Benghazi. They're going through her emails now, and I guess they found 30,000 more that she had hidden, and they're confiscating everything she owns right now. She tried to leave the country uh, last week, week and a half ago. They blocked her at the airport. She was leaving the country. They stopped her. You know, thank God they didn't let her out, because if she'd left the country, she'd have been gone. You know, and there'd been no way to get her back and make her face the crimes that she's done. But back to this Mexican, all this Mexican shit, people need to stand up. You know, if you got Mexicans in your town, contact us. If you think they're illegal, contact us. The phone number, you can look it up. It's under federal agencies. Call them up say, hey, we got a group here. They're awful suspicious. Call them up. Let them come in and check them out. If they don't have green cards, they don't have citizenship, guess what? They're going to arrest them and get their asses back to Mexico. You know, everybody has got to do their part. Remember when uh, the big campaign came out with uh, Hillary Clinton? See something, say something? Well, guess what? Right now is the time to see something, say something. Let's turn it around on them. Let's start seeing something right here and contacting ICE and let them know that, you know, something's wrong. You know, we got a group here. We got a family here. They're living 15 to a room. 
I got a suspicion they're illegal. ICE will come in, and they'll come in and check them out. So, everybody out there in these small towns or larger towns, you know, if you got a group of Mexicans and you think they might be illegal, eh, what the hell? Give ICE a call, and I'll let them come in and deal with it. That's all I've got for right now. I'll uh, probably uh, post another video tomorrow. Later.